guys, we are team the Savvy 6. I am Aviram from 3rd year Civil Engineering Department. I am the team leader of the Savvy 6. We participated in Smart India Hackathon 2023. And I, so, I, am so, I am so proud to say that we are the winners of uh, Smart India Hackathon 2023. Here is my team. Uh, Devnath, Tanis, Santosh from 3rd year Civil Engineering Department. And Roshan and Abhirami from CSE Department. A problem statement involves GIS based mapping of spring shells and also the monitoring and the management of spring shells. So, in order to perform those tasks, we needed the uh, help of the uh, computer science engineer to uh, implement those technologies and uh, we need to show our analytics and statistics in the form of an UI uh, that is on the website. So, we united and uh, we performed this humongous task of the winning this uh, hackathon 2022. So our problem statement comes under the Ministry of Rural Development. Under our problem statement, there were around 130 submissions. Among them, top 5 were selected for the finalists. And we are so happy to announce that we were selected for the top 5 finalists. And this was the most challenging part. As like overall, in India, there were around 135 finalists. And this is very challenging to come in the top 5. So when talking about the spring shed, the spring shed is the main source of water for the people living in the eastern Himalaya regions and also in the hilly region. So they, as the uh, main issue is that they can't make bore wells and uh, get ground water, the main source of water, they will be mostly dependent on the aquifer as well. So it, it is very much important to protect the aquifers and the spring shed from getting polluted as they as the increase in the urbanization activities could cause a pollution in them. So it's very much important to uh, monitor those uh, spring sheds. It was the combined effort of all, all six of us. We uh, formed together and uh, pulled in our ideas and we thought of what, what best idea we could fit in this product. And we started developing a small prototype and we came to know that it, uh, it will become a huge success. It was like uh, in our venue there were five problem statements connected. And our, P, our problem segment was the last problem segment. So when they were announcing the uh, winners of each and every problem segment, they were literally biting our nails, like whether they will call our name as finalist or not. So when it was like when they read our problem statement, PH1437, and the winner is, when they announced our team name, we were so excited and so, so shocked. It was an unreal moment for each and every one of us here. It was quite a magical moment. We would have never thought of winning this competition as we entered the, on the first day. So as we worked and worked, we realized that there may be a chance that we could actually secure our victory. So it was really a quite a amazing moment for all of us. Once we uh, we are uh, they announced that we are uh, Team Savvy Six is the winner of uh, Proud Statement One Four Three Seven. We are very happy and so enthusiastic for uh, once we we are in this stage. On the another another world, it was very happy. I would also like to add that our competitors were also too strong. You know, like we had competitors from different colleges, and they were also doing their efforts. So it was quite challenging for us. It is quite a proud achievement for us since uh, Smart India Hackathon is such a renowned competition, and uh, achieving such a victory is is a huge spectacle in at least in my books. So. Yeah, it's, I'm really, actually very proud that our team came to achieve this. We also feel proud when our juniors, when they come and know, like they say, Sakka, we saw your photo in the post, and congratulations, Sakka. Like we were very feeling proud to see them. So there was a team from other college, they developed a mobile app for them while we created a website for them. So we thought like how about creating a mobile app for them. So we created an idea where a website, we made it mobile responsive so that we can implement both the ideas in that same concept. So the basic skill set uh, which the participants should need is the problem solving skills and to the skill uh, which they, uh, in, uh, which is very much important to master or uh, work under the pressure. So the, there will be three rounds of mentoring and three rounds of evaluation. So each round of mentoring and evaluation, they would come and give, provide us new uh, comments and new suggestions. We have to make them. The first thing they will check is that uh, whether we are able to solve the suggestions which are given or whether we are able to solve the tasks which are given by them. So it is very much important. Just form a good team, work hard and master the core skills. Another important thing is that we should not form a team where we have, we have, we have a complete friends around us. We need to be, we should be able to for, mingle with other departments as well. 
government has supported a lot for us. Like as soon as we got the results from the SIH hackathon, our college they gave us time and space for us to work. Like even in the weekends, even in the uh, Sundays, our college gave us all the facility right from the internet. Uh, we had all the facility to come here and work. And also the mentors were so helpful. We also you know like we needed some sensors and some devices for our project. And the mentors they provided with all the uh, necessary components that we need to develop our project. Also, we had the internal mentoring session where the mentors they gave in their inputs to develop the project. So it was really helpful for us so that we had one idea like how the mentoring session and evaluation session would be. So college really they provided good facility for us. We are planning to proceed with this uh, idea program and uh, we have crafted this solution as uh, it is uh, scalable to the real world. And, uh, we have also taken a list of what are the real world sensors we could use uh, what are, so that it could be more robust and uh, it could withstand any amount of climatic changes and we could uh, make an efficient uh, monitoring system. So we are planning to implement it. I feel very proud for participating in SIH 2023 uh, and also we express our gratitude to our colleges and uh, CAC department and uh, civil department, mentors, friends and parents.